Welcome to the CA Test Data Manager PII Scan Tutorial video. This is part of the data masking process. For this video, we will assume that you have already created a project with versions. We will also assume that you have created connection profiles to your data sources. You can only mask data that is included in a Test Data Manager data model. If you click on the Data Masking on the left-hand panel before you have a data model, you are redirected to the Data Model Creation page. For the remainder of this video, we will assume that you have already created a data model. We identify columns that contain PII with tags, short descriptions of a column's contents. These tags can be automatically assigned by the PII scan feature, or you can assign them manually yourself. You can use a combination of these two methods. Let's look at a representation of our data model before we scan it for PII. From the Data Model section, click on the heat map icon in the top right of the page. Your data model is shown as a series of blue squares. Each one represents a table in your data model. The blue color indicates that it has not yet been scanned or manually checked for PII, and therefore contains no tagged columns. If we click on a table and then click Investigate, we see a list of all the columns in that table. None of the columns have tags associated with them yet. For now, we won't manually assign any tags to our model. Instead, we'll run a PII scan on the data model to let TDM Portal assign tags to columns in our database. TDM Portal assigns tags from classifiers. Classifiers are sets of rules against which TDM compares samples of column data to classify that column as PII. Classifier packs contain multiple classifiers. On the first page of the PII scan process, we select the classifier pack or packs against which we want to compare our data. For now, we will select All. Click Next to proceed. Now we need to select Scan Level to decide the size of the samples to compare against the classifiers for identification of PII. A basic scan compares 10 rows of each column. A scan at All scans all rows from each column. Next. We can choose whether or not to store the first 10 rows that trigger each classifier match. Let's choose to store them now. You can remove them at any time from the data model heat map view. When you are happy with your choices, click Next. Now we can choose whether to exclude primary and foreign key columns from the PII scan. You may want to do this to avoid possible conflicts with database constraints that prevent overwriting values in key columns. Now you can choose whether to scan all of your data model, apart from any key columns you may have just chosen to exclude, or to include tables, or exclude tables. If you choose to include or exclude tables, you need to create filters to decide which tables are included or excluded. The asterisk character works as a wildcard in this search field. If you choose to include tables, only tables that match all filters will be scanned. If you choose to exclude tables, only tables that match all filters will be excluded from the PII scan. Finally, a summary of our choices so far for the PII scan is displayed. Our last choice is whether to scan the model now or to schedule a scan for a future time. You may want to schedule a scan for a time when there is less load on the server where you have TDM Portal installed. If you schedule a scan for a future time, the heat map view is locked until this scan is performed. Let's cancel the scheduled scan and run it now. The options we just chose for the PII scan are retained. Let's choose Now as the schedule for the PII scan. The scan runs. When the scan is complete, the heat map screen displays, this time showing all the tables with the color corresponding to their PII risk. That is to say, how many columns were tagged as containing PII.
If you excluded any tables, these tables are blue to indicate they have not been scanned. You have now run a PII scan to tag your data model. You can continue with assigning masking rules to columns in your data based on those tags. See the masking video for the next steps. For more detailed information about this product, click the information bubble at the top right corner to load the product page. From there, you can visit product documentation, support, communities, or see the learning paths.